Hello. Um, I'm here to show you how to get Photo 3D album. Um, it's pretty cool. It's free software. Basically, what you can do is you can create um 3D photo screensavers. And first, I'm gonna show you um how to download it, and then we'll go into how to use it. So you want to go to your internet browser, doesn't matter which internet, you want to go to this link, photo.to slash album 3D slash, and I'll try to put a description down there, if not, I'll just copy it into the windows, just type it exactly the way it is. Well, here's the website, and it's actually free, so... To get it, you just go to downloads, and here it is. It's free software. Um, here's the different window versions that's required: the system requirements, your graphic card that it's required, especially if you have Windows XP or Windows 2000. Um, you want to make sure you have these. Uh, also, for Windows 7, requires the latest drivers, so that way it can work in your screensaver mode. Um, if you don't have internet connection, it won't be able to view or download new templates or upload your albums to the web. So yeah. Also there's different things you can see here on the side that you can do. Um, you can edit your photos online, share your photos and send you cards. Um, here's the template guides. Um, yeah, you can download that. How to install a new 3D gallery. Um, everything's in there. If you want to go here, just tell you that's just my performance alert. It's nothing to turn it off. Um, here's basically an overview of the galleries that you can get. But, anyways, besides all that, I'll show you how to do that after you download the program. So, after you download it, you'll get these two. You got your Photo 3D screensaver and you got the Photo 3D album. You click on the Photo 3D album and open it up. You see I've already created some but if you go to create new gallery, click on that, click OK. And then here's the choose your gallery. Now, there's more galleries you can get. But before we go through all that, I'm just going to go to, and there's a preview window of the different galleries and what it looks like. So I'm just going to go to the first one, click OK. Let that load up. <clears throat> there it goes. So, this is your gallery here. And over here, you have your files. And this is where you're going to find all your pictures. So, wherever you have your pictures at, like I'm just going to open up this one and just you just put it up here in this window here and pick a picture out mm, let's see well anyways this is a picture of my daughter all you do is you drag if you want to drag a whole bunch of pictures but see how I'm clicking in the window just go up to it like this and you just click on the frame where you want the picture. Well, normally I don't do it like that. Um, you can drag it to the frame like that. And you can rotate it to make it fit and you do that to all of them but to get multiple pictures in it so you don't have to go to each frame you want to highlight 
all your pictures in here like this and you want to over down here is your time bar and if you look down here where it says frames info 51 total 50 empty and one accompanied which meaning I have one in the frame already but there's 50 available that I can use 50 frames in this gallery that would change each time you do a different gallery so that's a good way of knowing how many frames is in this gallery so what you do is you drag your photos to the timeline and it's going to ask you do you want to replace photos in the gallery by these photos current photos will be removed don't do that just do free frames only you press that and as you can see your timeline gets bigger it starts adding all your photos for you like so and then it's going to fill up all the frames that you know however many pictures you had it's going to fill up all them frames for you automatically so you don't have to go through all of that so that's how you do that now you can also put comments here photo comments for your photos see now it says that I have 21 pictures in there and I have 30 empty and I can also go in here and I can view the gallery if I wanted to now you can add images here you can remove them here's your design now your design is your galleries this is what I was talking about these are your templates these are different galleries you can have you just click on it and it will automatically load up now here once they finish loading is other galleries you can get and you just click on one and install them or you can install them all you can hide this area here if you want and here you can share templates with other people you can go to the sort and sort it by type or date or download or name different stuff and you can also go on the, the web that I showed you and you can get different templates there but there is a whole bunch now after you do that I'm just gonna go back you just press the X button here and you can preview your gallery and it'll just show you what your screensaver is gonna look like you can share it you can go to the help if you don't if you need help and you don't know you can save it here Here's the edit, add images, clear, active window, help, blah, blah, blah. You can make a new one. There's all kinds of stuff to do. Now, once you're done with this, then it'll load up in your screensaver. And then you're going to click it. And it's going to load your, your creative program, what you did. And see it's loading and photo 3d album i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you would like more help please leave a comment